I have a problem with people behind creating modern Bible versions, especially James White. I did not know <laughs> that I was behind creating modern Bible versions, but evidently I am. Even though I'm actually the one that has said we've got all the English Bible versions that we need. <laughs> in fact, we have more than we need, but I guess I'm still behind it. I have a chapter in my book called James White versus What's Right. He updated his book to change things I pointed out. Okay, so there's there's the things that I saw. He updated his book to change things I pointed out. I did not. That is a falsehood. That is a blatant, bold lie. And I am challenging Doug Stauffer, and you can see at Doug underscore Stauffer, S-T-A-U-F-F-E-R, is his Twitter handle. And you can find, uh, you can click on that. That'll take you over to the church website. He's down in Niceville, Florida. Now, Niceville to me sounds like something, that sounds like something in the Superman thing. Where'd he live? Something like that. But Niceville, Florida is right on the coast. I mean, it is what I would call um, Hurricane Central Target. <laughs> okay. I mean, just right there. Uh, I hope the building is built facing where the strongest winds would come with the best building you can, because I mean, that is, that is Hurricane Central. Anyway, um, it's only a five hour trip from Atlanta. I'm coming to Atlanta for G3. So I'm, I'm saying to Doug Stoff, if you actually, if you're, if your people actually think that what you're saying is true, um, I'm now, I don't fly now. Um, I'm not doing the, I'm not doing the vaccine. I don't do the masks, so I'm not flying, but I'm driving. Uh, and in fact, here, listen, somebody wants to carry an NIV, carry an NIV, but I'll show you what's wrong with it. And I'm not going to hate you for it. Now I do have a problem with the people behind creating the modern versions. I, yeah. And, and, and it's just real and it's documented. Uh, especially a guy named James White. He wrote the King James Only Controversy. I have a chapter in my book called James White versus What's Right because of that book. Then when he updated his book, he changed a lot of things that I pointed out that were the problems in his book, even, even the appendices in the back. His big verse was Titus 2.13. I think 11 times he quoted it. Well, he went back in the back and he, and he changed it to where he only quoted it like three times because it was his main argument and it, you know, it was easy to disprove once I understood, understood the truth. Well, okay, so there's, there's the claim. Doug Stauffer, sir, you're making things up. You're making things up, okay? Um, other than 2006, the only time I ever heard of you and... Uh, I changed nothing in the King James only controversy. Here's, here's, uh, okay. Here's, here's the two editions. All right. So Titus two thirteen is discussed, uh, specifically in regards to what is called. Now that when you say this is my big verse, I simply point out and have pointed out for many, many years, that the King James Version, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it says 267 to 270. So 267 to 270 was the section specifically, Granville Sharps Rule and the King James Version. So that's that starts on page 267. All right, and now I look at Titus 2:13. And that's now pages 334 through 335. But nothing's, but nothing's changed. So we, we expanded the book. The book got bigger. And here is Titus 313, Grandma Sharp School. This is the new edition. You're lying, sir. You're lying to your own people and your own church. I made no changes because of you because you had nothing worthwhile to say. So if you want to make that kind of a claim in public, I challenge you. Here's my invitation, Doug Stauffer. And 
Anybody who wants to make sure that he hears this, feel free to do so. You know, uh, contact him on Twitter, or send an email to the email address kindly. Just give him the time index to the, to the program. Let him know. I will come to your church. All right? We can do this debate in your sanctuary. You get home field advantage. All right? Cost you nothing. All right? I, I carry my own accoutrements now. <laughs> my own accommodations. <laughs> it's called a fifth wheel. Um, so uh, we'll come to Niceville. And we'll debate Titus 2.13, 2 Peter 1.1, 1, 1, which is better, the New American Standard or the King James Version? How's that? I mean, that's, that's not the... That's, anybody who says that's my main verse obviously hasn't read these books. Doesn't make a lick of sense. But I will, I will defend Granville Sharp's rule, and I will demonstrate that Titus 2.13, 2 Peter 1.1... 1, 1, Teach the deity of Christ, and I'll do it um, in your church. If you if you if you have the confidence of your convictions, if your people can actually believe that you will stand before them and tell them the truth, then you should be going. Let's do it. When when's G three? Do you want to come the week before, the week after? How are we going to do this? Let's let's get it set up uh, because you're on the very very southern route. This. I'm discovering there's sort of a super southern route, and then the southern route, and then sort of the higher up route, and the nor northern route for getting getting to the east. Okay, I-10, I-40, different ways, um, and so you're on the super 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 southern part. So I could either come that direction and then go up to Atlanta, or after being in Atlanta and speaking at G3, come straight down. It's a five-hour drive from Atlanta to Niceville. And I believe it's Melton, Milton, Melton, Milton. I think you're close to a place called Milton. I found a RV park there that I could, uh, I can, you know, drop the, the, the fifth wheel at, drive on over. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because when people stand in front of Christians and say, I forced him to change his book when you had nothing to do with anything, I find that extremely offensive. You are abusing those people when you tell them untruths. And I can prove it. So, do you have the courage of your convictions, or will you be as silent as you were in 2006? That's the question. That's the question. So, uh, there you go, Mr. Stauffer. Let's, uh, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Um, I'm willing to do it. We'll, we'll see. Now, let me see if, now that I close that, if I can finally, eh, that was easy. Yeah. Yeah. So here's, <laughs> this showed up on Twitter. Um, here's the gospel super spread. <laughs> well, I, re I appreciate that. That does look a little bit like the little dinky 19 footer that I drove back to. Uh, yeah. Squish, squish that baby down. Um, but, um, I, I, and my arm is significantly longer than my body at that, in, in that, but that's okay too. Uh, <laughs> the graphic, yeah, the graphic looks great. Uh, so we appreciate the gospel super spreader. Um, of course, that's not what I'm driving. I'm driving a fifth wheel. So that's, there, there is a difference between the two, but same difference. There you go. We appreciate the gospel super spreader. <laughs> and we will take the gospel super spreader down to Niceville. Um, and if uh, Brother Stauffer does not have the courage of his words, uh, maybe there's somebody down that area that would like to have me come by. And we can, you know, there's a lot of King James onlyism down there. And so if there's some brave souls down there that would like to have me come in, I'll do an entire evening on the errors of King James onlyism. Uh, or I'll do an hour and a half on the errors of King James onlyism and then an hour of Q&A. How's that? How's that? Why not? Let's uh, make it worthwhile. Make it worthwhile.